Hello, welcome back to Odd Duck Foundry. And here's the setup that I figured out for uh, putting the bore in my base for my indexing head. And as you can see, simple is good. We're going to give this a try. Basically what I did is I milled this leg flat. You know, I made, built, drilled it uh, perpendicular to the base and the back here and put in a riser block and bolted it down here. Bolted it down on the outside that lines up with the uh, with the bore, more or less. Close enough. It'll work. And this looks like it is reasonably square to the faceplate. Uh, and this big horrible mess right here is a counterweight to help balance this uh, rather off-center mass I've got going here and it's not too bad you know, let me show you just a second it's shaking back and forth just a little bit but not too bad so I've got it, I think, is about as balanced as I'm going to. All right. Next, drilling this out. All right, here we are going to be center drilling. A little bit of... Ooh, that's cutting nicely. All right, center drill. All right, pilot drilling. Okay, we've gone straight on to the uh, drilling portion of the major diameter of this thing and ran into a bit of a nasty surprise. This thing has a great big void in the middle of the casting, in the middle of the uh, bore. But that's okay because it kind of allowed me to get away with not drilling a pilot throw hole through the thing. Let's see how close it comes out on the other side and see if it actually stays on track, however. So far, it seems to be uh, drilling rather nicely, though. No hard spot yet. Uh, it's uh, bringing out chips well. It seems to be cutting well. I'm not having to put a lot of pressure on it. So, let's see how it does. All right. Well, it's drilled. As you can see, there is a hole. And yeah. As usual with my projects, nothing ever goes quite perfectly. And you can kind of sort of see in there the uh the voids on the inside that made this just that little bit much more difficult. Kind of see there. Hang on for a second. Yeah, you can see down in there the voids on the inside. I Made mean, drilling it uh, not as accurate as I had hoped due to the fact that I could not drill a pilot hole all the way through. I broke into that void and guess what? Snapped my pilot drill that I was using right off. So I had to just drill it all the way through and hope for the best. Now, it more or less worked. The 
because it is it is perpendicular or, or it is parallel to the reference side here. However, <laughs> again as per usual, up and down it's off by about an eighth of an inch vertically. Yeah, so I've got to uh, do a little bit of head scratchery to uh, see what I want to do at this point. I really don't want to reface the base just to match the bore. What I think I'm going to wind up doing is I'm going to counter bore in here um, probably a three quarter inch hole. This is five eighths nominally. I'm going to come back in here and I'm going to counter bore three quarter inch and install a bushing which is not ideal because I think I'm going to have to come back here and I'm going to have to split that because this is going to be was going to be my uh, locking area right here for the shaft going through. I was going to put a drill down through here, tap it on the bottom, drill clearance about halfway through, and then make a saw cut right along here halfway through. Make a bolt and, in, and a knob up here so that when I turned it down this this end would serve as a clamp uh, for the shaft so I could cut gears with it accurately. But uh, remains to be seen. So, yeah.